Say hello, Matt. Hello, Jake. Hey, Nancy, Mike. Hi, Mom. <laughs> hey, Andrea. Daddy's shooting a video so you can see this when I come back home. This is where Daddy lives. And we'll show you a lot more the rest of the day. Okay, this is the back side of Samita Tower. Pretty flowers. And there's our weight room from the outside. We'll get to see it later on from the inside. And there's our pool. Oh, lovely pool. It's bliss blast. It's where Don and I take a bath. Just joking. Cut! Uh, here's our little cats. Well, we just missed our cats. This is uh, the backside again of Samita Tower. And there goes a boat going down the waterway. And this is where I was standing just a second ago. And I took those pictures of the pool. It's the backside of the tower. Oh, don't fall off. And there goes Donna. Did you find him? Yeah, she got that cat. <laughs> this cat, we like this cat a lot, but every time we try to take it upstairs, they try to make it our own. It, uh, it, it's kind of the, uh, it's made a tower cat. So everybody just kind of leaves him alone. Hey, Calico right. Kitty. Meow, meow. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it is a beautiful day out here today. The wind's blowing, but it's about 77 degrees. It's warm, it's very pretty. The zellias are out everywhere. And... Oh, this is the way Donna walks to work every morning. She comes down this way and comes towards me and she gets to see the scenery of the boats traveling by. These are kind of like tourist boats. Uh, the people you pay a, a fare and you ride up and down the river in these kind of boats. Here's a, one of many beautiful trees here in Tokyo. This is a very, very neat looking tree. And on the way to Donna's, look, Donna turns right in. Trying to escape. <laughs> oh, we're inside the subway. This is where Donna and I used to sub when we would leave the house when Donna goes to work. These are the uh, kind of coin operated ticket vending machines where you put your money in and you, uh, you get your ticket to go on or you can get a, uh, uh, a card, which we usually use a card, and just use a card every day. And uh, this is the Sweet and Gourmet Station. There's kind of a, a map showing you the route of this area. Alrighty then, cut. A rare day, this place is a national holiday for, uh, for the Japanese, and it's, not, it's never this quiet. Unless it's a holiday or a Sunday. But here comes the subway now. We'll be getting on this one as soon as it approaches. Little Japanese man.
bear with me for one second. <laughs> I'm trying everything I can to uh, <laughs> get these birds uh, to eat this popcorn like uh, you guys once seen us before and our still photographs, but they don't seem to like uh, our popcorn, but uh, you know, I'm trying to get them to at least like Donna a little bit. <laughs> Won't she be surprised? Poor little pigeon, can't find nothing to eat. No, actually, they've got too much to eat. All these people around here are feeding all these pigeons. And I mean to tell you, there's thousands of them. Look up in the tree. Pigeons all, all around. We're actually in a uh, Wayno Park where the zoo's at and there's a lot of museums and we'll walk around and try to show everybody all of our stuff. Yep, there she is. I'm gonna have to tell her though, but uh, later she'll see the video and she'll see that Donna's became the bird feeder. Well, now we're in another uh, part of the uh, Wayno Park. This is a fountain, as we all can tell. All the people uh, walking around the park. There's a, uh, there's some tents that the people actually permanently live in. There's one back there, these blue ones. And there's a bunch over there on that side. But these people live permanently throughout the year. They're homeless and they live in the tents in this park and actual people, um, uh, come and they donate food and they give things to these people. Look, there's Donna. Donna, smile. We're going to have to change this. So oh, to man. To okay, we're going to change this next time around. Donna's a little camera shy. But then again, aren't we all? I'm even camera shy talking about this camera. I'm so shy. Can't you tell? Back to the, the fountain and cut. Well, folks, I. Uh, I want to see if you guys remember this. This is the well that Don and I uh, took the pictures last year. And uh, now here's some actual footage for the little kid. We're in front of the National Science Museum. This is part of the Yogi Park. Oh, sorry. Wait, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Large, she blows. This is an actual size of uh, the Great Blue Well. As this young lad poses for it. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> he looked like he was a little camera shy too. <laughs> okay, and there's the museum. Well, this is uh, one of those examples I was telling you guys about earlier about where some of the homeless people live. This guy actually lives in this place, hangs his stuff out on the line here, and we're just kind of walking through the, uh, the park. There's, uh, you can't imagine how many homeless live in uh, Tokyo, Japan, or Japan in general. They're everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. There she is. Hey, honey. Well, here's something that's kind of interesting. This is a big spear in the middle of the uh, art museum in Tokyo. Now you can see... What Scott looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Don and myself and what we look like in the spear. There we are. Yay. Oh, Donna, this is coming out real good. I feel sorry for the people who are having to watch this right now. Yeah. And there's the spear again. Let's go close. Go when I in one of the temples. Uh, it's in Wayno Park. And uh, people come from miles around to offer their money for their prayers. I'm not sure exactly what I'm talking about because I don't know too much about their culture. And I'm trying to find Donna. There she goes. There she goes. I'm on her now. There she goes again. Uh, now. Okay. Everybody's yard and everybody's house. 
every city block and it's so beautiful. Enjoy now. Here we are at another shrine. See, they are different. I'm going to zoom in on Scott. <laughs> I'm going to run into people first. I'm going to zoom into Scott. Come here, Scott. Scott! <laughs> See? He's so enthusiastic about this. Actually, we're still at Billy Guys. <laughs> This is the, uh, the exterior part of the zoo for the people on the way uh, out of the zoo. I just kind of want to show you everybody how crowded this place is. Look at the people walking down the, usually on a, a regular day, uh, there might be 20, 30 people walking down this ramp at one time. And uh, as you can see, there's thousands, maybe millions, trillions of people. Boy, Scott likes it. Big crowd. Person, <laughs> I have a heart attack in crowds. This is another temple. Yes, another one. They're everywhere, in every corner. <laughs> hey, Doc. Well, this is the inside of one of the terminals at a subway. Uh, I'm just gonna let you let you see how The grounds of Tokyo. People everywhere. Hey, honey. And here you can see the wolf man. Ooh. <laughs> well, Matt, this is for you and Jake. Guess who this guy is? He's yours truly. <laughs> Get someone behind me clapping on the window. Why well, won't it focus in? I'll have to get a better shot. Here you go, Matt and Jake and Andrea. Yes, it's Godzilla. He's coming in to terrorize the city of Tokyo. Well, here we are uh, at Hibia Park. Uh, these are one of thousands of these uh, uh, little parks that are uh, in the Tokyo area. And all the landscape, they uh, do it up real pretty here. Do it up real pretty here. And look, look kids, it's Mr. Turtle. And look, and he brought his little friend ducky over here. Uh, go on into the water, little duck duck. Go on. I bet she's got a nest down there. Maybe if I can focus in just a little bit more. Yeah, can't really tell. Yeah. Uh, this is near uh, the station where actually we're uh, the American Express place where we get our money from. And there you have it from this angle. You can also see from the rocks and how everything's kind of set up in this park, how pretty it is. Oh, what do we have here? Yes, it's one of those street bombs, kids. Don't you be like this when you grow up, kiddies. Donna, 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 please let me take a picture of it. I think Donna's got to go to the bathroom. Oh boy, here comes some more pictures in the park. It's real exciting, but it's pretty to look at. But not as pretty as the flower that's standing beside me. But she won't let me get a picture of her. She's probably running right now. I'm not even going to try it. 
Well, here you go, Mom. These are for you. All the pretty tulips that can be seen while you're in Tokyo, Japan. They're everywhere, they're everywhere. Amongst all the buildings. Whoop, back up. I can't see they Whoop, there's a bull. <laughs> Where'd she go? Um, right there. <laughs> oh, she's out now. Well, here we are again. This is, we're still in the, uh, the Hibia Park. There's just some, uh, some uh, swans that are swimming near the Imperial Palace. This is the moat? Then? Yep. There's one, this is one of the gates. We'll show you closer when we get up to it. This is the moat that surrounds the Imperial Palace where the, all the uh, all important people of Japan live. The emperors and the, the princess. And... There's a close-up of our, our friend the swan. Oh, he's so pretty. This building here is the capital building from, uh, for Tokyo. And it run, runs right alongside the, uh, the moat that goes in, to the one of the entranceways into the, uh, the Imperial Palace. This is the outside gate. There's an inside gate, but we're not allowed to go through there. And you can't even you can't even see the the palace because it's covered. With, you can't see because it's up on a hill, and you were not allowed to go in there. This is outside the uh, Imperial Palace, and this isn't even downtown. This will give you kind of an idea. It's kind of a picturesque view of some of the uh, buildings in Tokyo. Whoop. Mm. This is the main entrance to the Imperial Palace, except for you won't be able to see it. But we'll show you the road that leads up to the Wizard of Oz. This is the inside gate to the Imperial Palace. Uh, this is as much as you can see of the where the Emperor lives. Emperor. And uh, this is like this this whole place. They have everything they need. They don't have to leave this uh, this island. They don't have to go into the city for anything. Everything they need's there. Recreation, uh, meal-wise, dinner. They have a whole family in there already. Then. Well, you can't tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. No time to talk. You they lie the way they want to make kick the ground since I was born. You know it's all right. Actually, right there just a second ago. Now we're walking up the hill around the uh, Imperial Palace. This moat circles the whole palace, and it's probably four square four square miles in there. But of course, you, like I said before, you can't get in there to see. This is uh, we actually lived in this area at Nagatacho when we were here first, and now we live at. There goes my running partner. Oh, he must be working out. Mm. Okay, this is for adults only. So Matt, Jake, and Andrea, close your eyes. Ooh. Pornography at its at its best. Look at that kinky little bird up there. Well, here's our old uh, apartment complex where we lived at uh, back before Christmas. Katana Arms. We invite you all to stay at a katana. Come on down. Hey, honey. Ooh. Yep, that's katana. Oh, look how pretty she is. You just gotta love her. Hey. <laughs> Our old apartment. Uh, Don and I live right close to both of these hotels, but I thought I'd just let you get a look at them. They're two of the many beautiful, beautiful hotels they have here in uh, Tokyo. They have some of the best looking architecture I've ever seen. Another building. We're at uh, another part near uh, Nagatacho. And I thought I'd let you guys see some fish. Shit. 
their carp, their Japanese carp, and I can't remember the exact name for them. And uh, here's the part that we're in. I don't know the name of it. It's just an off through. It's beside a an office building complex that uh. They're, like I said earlier, there's thousands of these things everywhere, but they're very pretty and they're well taken care of. And there's the prettiest flower I know. <laughs> yep. Az azaleas? Azaleas are everywhere. This will give you an example of how outdoorsy the bathrooms are. You can watch anyone take a bathroom. As you can see that gentleman there, let's see if you can see his pee pee's. Eh, don't get too close, Scott. Are you crazy or something? <laughs> and here's the other side of how you can see someone use the bathroom. In Japan, public bathrooms, there are also a lot of them are co-ed, so you walk in and you see someone else using the bathroom beside you. Look, Nancy, Mike, remember wrong way? This is his cousin over in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> and here is his other cousins. Oh, look at these two. Look at the black and uh, the yellow one right there. That's pretty. Oh, there goes a big part. guy. Urgh, sure, sure. I'm a macho fish. I also very compared to other fishes. Watch it. And I'm a calico. Oh, I'm drinking all the water. Oh, that, that's, that's a neat looking fish there. Mm -hmm. I wish I could catch him to have him as my very own. Hey, Mom, isn't this pretty? We you like to have this in your backyard. With all the little fishies swimming around. Hey, Mr. Fish. These things are all over the place, too. They're annoying. Hey, everyone, this is the Pinans Rodeo Drive. This is all the shop shop shop. All the main brands. And it pulls up in front of a uh, a Mustang, and that's extremely rare to see here. So whoever bought this Mustang has paid a lot of money for this Mustang. Every once in a great while, you'll see a Corvette or some uh, another car, like a an American car, but it's very rare. But uh, actually, when I look at this Testarossa here, honey, this is fake. This is a kit car. Cut. Actually, I have been known to be wrong, and I'm wrong now. This is a Lamborghini Testarossa. Beautiful car. This is the second one I've seen in the past couple of days, and as ironic, it just pulled up while I was making this video. Alrighty. Here's what it looks like as we're coming to the spot. Well, well, here's some of the nightlife, the way it looks like at dusk, going into Ginza, a very popular area for all the kids, and uh, fashion models and all that sort of stuff. We just came out of the subway. There's the subway signs. Another view of some of the lights. Coca-Cola man. Big television screen up there so people can watch the news or a sports broadcast or something interesting on TV. I'll tell you what, when we first got here to a... Uh, yes, honey. Uh, yeah. There's a... Uh, this is some of the traditional clothes. Well, that, they got lost them in the crowd, honey. Okay, <laughs> Some of the, what kind of, what are the kimonos? Japanese lifestyle. As you can see here, gang, there's lights from miles and miles away. From this side. It's, it reminds me of what I would believe New York City would look like. Uh, I've never been to New York City, but just at night when it's later, it's about, it's 6.28 now, 
but later on, I mean, everything's lit up down here. It's like a circus, and it's uh, extremely, extremely busy. Could you imagine walking around in this, folks? I mean, Donna and I just, Donna handles it a lot better than I do, I'll be honest with you. And I get a, when I start walking around all these people, it's and, not that crowded today. Yeah, yeah, actually Donna says it's, it's not that crowded, especially like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. It is so busy. I mean, um, always referred to as a stampede of cattle. So they just went by and did what you usually do. They kind of wave at the camera for you. Did they really? I didn't see them. It is now 6.30. What? There's a Camaro. <laughs> Very rare. Someone paid a lot of money for it. More bright lights, city lights. Who's this? Our favorite friend back in the United States. Even the layout this food is going to kill you. Just go ahead, honey. I'm, I'm taking. I'm, this, is, this is embarrassing. These people are probably wondering why we're doing it. Sure. And uh, here we go. Well, this is where we live now. Look how much boring it is compared to what we left. There's no lights. There are some neon lights, but. Not like Enza. Whoop. Not like Enza. But hell, I'm a, sorry, erase that last word. Beep. Uh, every corner basically looks the same anyway. Recording. Okay, I'm going to give you a, a different sample of the vending machines that they have here in Tokyo. They don't have the same ones. They do have Coke, they do have Pepsi and Mountain Dew, but that's Probably 40%. This is rest than 60% right here. There's everything from grape juice. There's, they drink mostly tea, so everything's tea here. Dark tea, yellow tea, white tea, it doesn't matter. Just all kinds of teas. Uh, fiber drinks, uh, vitamin C drinks. Must be orange juice, I guess. Uh, this stuff tastes pretty good. It tastes like sugar water. Uh, it's, okay, it's, yeah, it's recording. Uh, cocoa. All these are coffees right here. Uh, this stuff's pretty good. It kind of tastes like a watered-down Mountain Dew. Refreshing and sparkling. And uh, there's some cocoa, some more coffees, carrot juice. And the apple juice actually tastes like a, uh, it has apple in it. So when you drink it, you, <coughs> you get choked on the apple. What happens? You go, you drink it, you go. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, that's enough. <laughs> and uh, and so these are on every corner. Look, see, look, honey. Focus in on the Pepsi machine right up the road there. Do you see it huh? right there? Do you focus in? I'm trying. And see, the uh, Coke machines are on every corner. Look, honey, and go this way. You can go right down to that machine down there. Do you see that one too? Do you see it? No. The so taxi just... Oh, way on the other side? Yeah. Okay. They're on every corner, and there's every kind of vending machines from hamburgers to radios to beer. You, most people, I just bought some beer from a vending machine. <laughs> see, look, see, look, see what I have in here? Uh-oh. 
Oh, it's drafties. <laughs> Don't you know now? <laughs>